Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing well. I want to share with you in a previous video when I shared my cards, I had mentioned that I was gonna show you how I did the three different bows. We have the fabric, the ribbon, the yarn, and the um, crepe paper. So I'm gonna show you how to do those three today. I'm gonna start off with the yarn, it's very easy. Grab any color you want or any color you have at home. I'm using yellow because as you know, I'm working on some fall projects. And what I usually do is I use three fingers only because I want a small bow, not that big. So I go a couple of times around my fingers, three to four. The more you go around, the bigger your bow will be. Like the more, um, the more, um, chunky it will look and it depends on what i'm going to use it sometimes i don't like it too too um too chunky i like it kind of flat if it's gonna be like for flat mill purposes or you know because yarn is um very thick already like it's you know it's so once you have it like like you saw me going around my fingers. Now you're gonna hold it, take them out of your fingers, hold it. And now I'm gonna tie it with a piece of yarn in the middle. And now I'm gonna do it one more time. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut. See how the loop, go ahead and cut the loops or you know, when you went around with your fingers and now as you can see it's not straight so this is where you get to hold all the strings together and even it out so that's what i'm doing here this one is going to be a little bigger than the ones that i made this one's a little bit bigger i need a bigger one for a different project that i'm doing and there's your little bow now you can just add something in the center like i did i added a little gem that i had a flat back so that will work a bead works it doesn't need to be a flat back it can be a bead like for example i have a butterfly here it's a bead you can just glue that in the middle you can add whatever you want you can leave it like that but i like to add um a bead or a flat back so that was the yarn now let me show you the ribbon here's my ribbon so for the ribbon i'm going to use one of these wires this is just um floral wire any type of jewelry wire that you might have at home that's what i'm using to tie in the middle so this is how i do the yarn It depends how big you want your bow. So I just kind of want a small one, not too big. So you're gonna go make like a loop. You're gonna go, and then you're gonna grab this end and you're gonna bring it back and go ahead and push this one down. And you can, if, you, if it's too big, you can go ahead and start all over again if you want a small one and then just go ahead i hope you're able to see it okay let me show you i'm just gonna show you i'm gonna try not to explain it because i feel if i try to explain it i'm just gonna like not tell you how to do it like the right way so you grab one end fold it back that's gonna be the top layer and then this end bring it here, let's do a smaller one because I need a small one. And then bring it back. And one more time. Just like that. And then you're gonna tie it with the, let me cut that. Just tie it. It 
if you have um you can just tie it and go all around but if you have the cutting pliers for cutting wire you can go ahead and use that so it won't be too bulky but that's how i do mine i mean of course i take my time but right now i'm trying to do it fast so i can show you and you know you can do it different sizes you can do it smaller mine's a little bit smaller as you can see but it's okay and then what i did here i used some of the like crochet thread and i just went around to hide to hide all of the wire you just grab a piece and just go ahead and tie and then put a knot on the back just like that so that's how you can go ahead and hide the wire so that's how i did that one let me take this off all right the other one is the crepe paper so here's a new uh, roll of crepe paper and this is one of the colors that i'm going to be using for my projects and you only need a small piece you don't need a lot same um the more you use the more chunky it's gonna look and it depends for what purposes i'm using it i don't like to i don't like to make it too chunky and then i'm just gonna cut another piece this is the piece that is going to go around your bow so you're gonna get a small piece and then fold it and keep folding it until you're done rolling your piece of paper just like that now your piece of crepe paper go ahead and fold it in half fold it again and then this is the part where you can just start crunching it gathering it in the middle see how i fit the more you add the more chunkier it will be if that's that's to your liking if you like it too chunky very fluffy go ahead and you know but since i want small bowls i'm just gonna leave it like that so you're gonna grab your other piece and you are gonna start wrapping wrapping that piece of crepe paper around your bowl so i have my glue here and i told you guys this is my favorite glue ever since i started using it this is all i use because it's my favorite glue so add some glue and wrap it if you get some and hold it for a couple of seconds if you get some like on your crepe paper it's okay it does dry clear and then once you are done you can add an enamel dot like i did over here you can see there's an enamel dot that i had made you can add any type of bead i have these flowers that i just um arrived today these are brown flowers they're probably too big to add to the bowl but if you have like a smaller one you can go ahead but if you don't you know just anything that you have anything that you might have you can add to your center now the glitter i added glitter so this is the glitter that i'm using i'm using extra fine glitter i really like that color so what i did let me get a spoon i usually like oh my goodness i made a mess already so i usually have some plastic spoons when i work with glitter and when i work with my diamond dust so i'm just gonna add remember this is um clear glitter Go ahead and make a line on your edge of your, you're just doing a straight line as you can. And then you know what, let's just dip it in there. I was gonna use the spoon, but nah, too much work. So go ahead and do the other side. And you can make your line as chunky or as 
thin as you want it. Doesn't matter how wide you make that line with the glue. So just like that. Now you just let it dry and enjoy your bows on your project. So that's how I do the different bows that I just showed you. So hopefully this was helpful and I hope you were able to see the process for the ribbon one. I know it can be a little bit, you know, tricky or when you're not used to it, but just practice, you know, sometimes I make mistakes. So, you know, just practice, just fold it like I said, and then bring it down and then again, you can just, you know, something like this tie it and don't forget to cut the end so i hope you were able to see that i'm sorry if it's, if it's hard to see i mean you know so i really hope you enjoyed it and if you're still having problems with that ribbon bowl just let me know in the bottom and you know i'll try to help as best as I can. But thank you for watching. And till next time. Bye.